If you are looking to build a multi-agent application by using different LLMs or you are looking to build autonomous AI agents which can either work together or independently, then have a look at this new project called as Prison AI. In this video, we will have a quick overview of this and then we will install it on our local system and then we will play around with it. Prison AI uses Autogen or Crew AI frameworks which are frameworks for autonomous AI agents to build a low code solution for large language models. I already have covered Crew AI and Autogen and various other frameworks on the channel. So if you are interested, please search them. The good thing about Prison AI is that it is quite easy to install and then it is also quite easy and flexible to integrate these frameworks with Prison AI. So let's get right into it. Let me take you to my local system. There we are going to install this Prison AI. This is my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of 22 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. I will be installing everything in a virtual environment created by Conda. So I would highly suggest you do it. It's an optional step, but I highly recommend you install Conda and then create a virtual environment of it. So you can see that I am running Conda 24.1.2. You can even go with the lightweight mini Conda version. If you don't know how to do it, I already have a video around it. So please search the channel and you should be good to go. Let me clear the screen. So the first step, let's create a Conda environment and then we are going to activate that environment. Let me write the command. So I'm just creating a Conda environment with the name Prison AI. Let's press Y here and it is going to activate it. That is done. Simply activate this environment and that is done. You can see in the parenthesis on the left hand side. Let's clear the screen. And in order to install present AI, all you need to do is to just run pip command, pip install present AI. And then let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Took around a couple of minutes to get installed and you can see it has installed heaps of things. Let's clear the screen. Now, next step, you need to set your open AI's API key. So go to platform.openai.com and then it's a paid option so you would need to grab your key from there and then set it up here the good thing is that you can use this tool with olama with lm studio with fast chat and with also mistral api and so we will also be uh, looking at how you can do that but for the sake of completion let's first check it out with openai so let me first set my openai with that command and then clear the screen my key is set just for the sake of keeping everything clean. Let me create this directory present AI. Let's see to it. Now present AI is installed. In order to get started, all you need to do is to run this command where we are initializing present.ai and what it what this command will do is it will automatically create agents.yaml file in the current directory. And that is why I have created this directory to keep everything nice and clean so let me run this command there you go so you see it has created that agents.yaml file successfully <clears throat> let me quickly show you what that files look like so as i did the more let, there you go so the framework it is by default using crew ai, AI. you can uh, just simply type autogen here it is going to use that and the topic which i gave it write a love letter in a humorous way and then the role it has automatically defined the role set okay the role will be humor researcher the backstory the context it right with a punch and for comedy and a background in content research the humor researcher excels at finding what tickles a funny bone in various demographics amazing and then the goal of this role is to gather humorous content and understand what makes content amusing then this is a role task then content then what tool it will it is going to use again creative writer and then literary artist again love letter editing how good is that so in order to execute this all you need to do is to run present ai and it is going to execute the above agents.yaml file with all the low code one 
so it is running you can see that working agent humorous researcher starting task and focus on love and relationship to ensure relevance amazing stuff there you go and then drafting it it has collected some data from anecdotes and other stuff even there are some comedic dialogues there amazing stuff there you go so it is starting the editing task as we saw in that yaml file and it is going to go with all those tasks one by one and behind the scene it is using that fantastic crew a framework but we don't really have to worry about that there you go the letter is almost done if i scroll above this is the task output my dearest and then there is a letter as i sit here pen poised how good is that that's done so if i just show you the letter just read it and marvel at it that I, as i sit here pen poised i am transported back to our first date you said with a bashful glance i know i'm not much to look at but i have been feeling under the weather <laughs> okay so you see that this is humorous way of um you know expressing the love then isn't love a peculiar thing anyway so i could read it on, on and on but you can the point here is how quickly how easily we were able to define our uh, task we didn't have to worry about any agent we didn't have, have to worry about any api call or any that sort of stuff all we did was we just gave it a natural language sentence it did all the heavy lifting of creating the agent and specifying the agent and all that stuff and there was actually no installation we didn't clone any github repo we didn't even tinker with any of the environment file for this basic task so how good is that let me clear the screen and then let's give it um, another custom task so for that maybe i would ask it to search the internet for that let's first install a browser which is a duck duck go search that's a command line browser so let's first get it installed that is done let's clear the screen we already have our key set so let's ask present ai to search the internet and do something for us so here i'm asking it initialize and research about the latest stock price of vdhd in australia and prepare a summary so let's run it so you see that again it has created the yaml file so if i check it out so you see the data researcher it's now about financial data collection and analysis data analysis and then uh, all that stuff so it seems it has overwritten the earlier one if i do the ls ltr yep it has deleted the earlier one that is fine and in order to run it all we need to do is to run this present ai let's wait for it there you go so it is doing all that stuff about starting the task working about the agent it has already defined it and it has gone on to the internet to search it out so let's wait for it to finish and while it is finishing i wanted to point out one thing this is this could be quite expensive too because it's an, it's making api call to open ai so you know you need to be wary of that that um, the more api calls it is making the more expensive it could get there you go so this is a report that about vthd stock price and then you can search it out how good is that so that's it guys this is for this video in the next video uh, i want to break it in two parts we will be using this present ai with olama so stay tuned and because i will be making that video today so if you are watching it later just search it with uh, i will also put the link of both videos in each other so that you can reference it so for this video it was just with open ai present ai in the next one we will first install olama and then we will integrate this present ai with olama so that it would all be local all will be free and you don't worry about cost of api calls i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.